Samsung is set to introduce significant design changes with the Android 15-based One UI 7.0 update later this year. There are reports that One UI 7.0 may introduce significant design improvements, featuring more colorful app icons enhanced by ultra-smooth animations. It may also allow users to declutter their home screens. According to the latest updates from Chunbai, One UI 7.0 will include Samsung's version of the Dynamic Island and Live Activities features from iOS. Dynamic Island can display relevant information such as timers, allow music control, and show interactions with Samsung Pay and Face ID. Live activities are essentially lock screen notifications from apps that can update themselves automatically. For example, a sports app may display game results in near real time, allowing you to stay updated with the action without unlocking the device. Let's take a look at a real-life view of One UI 7.0 in action. Starting off with the new icons, we have the gallery icon in both light and dark modes. Samsung is now adopting a rainbow look, somewhat similar to iOS, but it still maintains a distinctive Samsung style. The new camera icon, also available in both light and dark modes, looks pretty good in my opinion. Finally, we have a screenshot of the UI, which looks very similar to iOS. You can make your icons appear bigger and bolder and you can also see the new battery percentage display, which like iOS, shows the percentage inside the icon. Now, a redesign of the One UI 7.0 camera app has surfaced, promising an enhanced user experience. Tipster at Chun8888 has shared a series of images showcasing the new camera app, which will debut with One UI 7.0. Fans of the original One UI design will likely appreciate this update as it emphasizes improved one-handed usage. The new camera app icon has also been leaked. The photo reveals that all controls including camera modes, quick settings, and zoom shortcuts are conveniently located at the bottom of the screen. The night mode indicator icon is positioned in the bottom right corner. Fortunately, the navigation bar buttons remain unchanged. As always, users can customize the camera mode shortcuts and their placement. The leaked images display all the existing camera modes such as dual recording, hyperlapse, night panorama, portrait, portrait video, pro, pro video, single take, and slow motion. Quick controls for settings like flash, timer, aspect ratio, image resolution, metering, exposure, filters, and stickers are accessible through a horizontally scrollable bar. The current red color camera app icon might be replaced in One UI 7.0 with a new white slash gray icon featuring a camera lens and a red LED indicator, as seen in the leaked image. This new icon design could pose challenges with material you themes. Rumors suggest that Samsung will introduce extremely smooth animations and transitions with One UI 7.0. A leaker named Chun Bai on X shared notes from someone who tested Samsung's Android 15 version, which is still in development. It appears Samsung is making many visual and practical changes, taking some inspiration from the iPhone's design. Samsung is reportedly changing all their app icons to be rounder and giving them a 3D look. The gallery app icon will also get a new rainbow color design, similar to iOS's Photos app. One UI 7 might also allow you to customize the shortcuts on your lock screen with more apps and actions to choose from for the corner slots. Additionally, Samsung might implement a split notification shade, separating notifications from quick settings, an idea seemingly inspired by Apple's control center. The last major change in the leak is a redesign of the camera app. The new version will move all settings to the bottom edge and keep them hidden in a drawer until you tap a button to show them. While it's not accurate to say iOS and Android are the same over the years, they have become more similar in some features and design elements. This convergence can make phones from different brands feel alike but it makes sense to arrange things in ways users are familiar with after so many years, just like you wouldn't want a car company to move the gas and brake pedals around to be different. The newest version of Android usually debuts with Google's Pixel phones in October. However, the next Google event where the Pixel 9 series will be introduced is happening in August. We expect these new Pixels to come with Android 15, so it might officially debut then. In past years, even when Google released Android in October, Samsung managed to launch its new One UI before the end of the year. So if you have a recent Samsung phone, watch for the new and significantly different One UI 7 update coming this fall.